from outside the White House today where they urged Donald Trump to reverse his decision. Withdrawing support for the Kurds is, is going to lead to the genocide. To the streets of Tal Abiyad, right at Syria's border with Turkey, where Syrian Kurds now fear annihilation. They're coming, he says, to take our land. The evidence of an onslaught grew. Just across the border, busloads of Turkish soldiers en route with artillery now in place for an attack targeting Kurds in Syria. Turkey has long seen Kurds as enemies. All of it coming amid Trump's surprise announcement this week, pulling U.S. soldiers from northeastern Syria. We want to bring our troops back home. Say critics, including fellow Republicans, it's a betrayal, abandoning the Kurds who fought and died alongside U.S. troops in the war against ISIS, now left vulnerable. Today, a former top U.S. military commander in that region seemed dumbfounded by Trump's decision. For me, the overall sentiment is one of disappointment. Disappointment that we're letting down our partners, perhaps adding to the humanitarian disaster in this region. In an apparent response to the backlash yesterday, Trump threatened to obliterate Turkey's economy if Turkey now stepped out of line. But today, Trump invited Turkish President Erdogan to a state visit next month in Washington, a rare honor. Indeed, it was shortly after a phone call with Erdogan Sunday that Trump announced the surprise pullback. The concerns now are many on the fate of those Kurds in Syria, on whether it may now reignite ISIS, and more broadly, on what it says about U.S. foreign policy and the president who directs it. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Washington.